Kyron went to school that day early because it was the school science fair. So all kinds of kids were there with their parents showing off their big projects. And he was no different. Carrie Horman was a stay-at-home mom and Kane's second wife. The two of them had an 18-month-old daughter. And when Kane got home from work in the afternoon, the three of them made their routine walk to the bus stop to greet Kyron and hear about his day. The three of us start walking down. I know that she had mentioned she had forgot something or had to go grab something back at the house. So my daughter and I walked down to the bus stop and she took off back up and came back down to meet us kind of at the bottom. Bus goes by up and turns around, comes back down, came back down, bus stops, door opens, and the driver says, hey, you know what's going on, guys? And we're just waiting for Kyron. Oh, well, Kyron's not on the bus. Well, he should be on the bus. What's going on? And so she immediately said that she would call up to the school. And I can't remember exactly how it was mentioned, but just kind of parroted back that he hadn't been at school all day. It was like immediate panic at that point. I don't even know how else to describe it. I mean, everything just kind of went blank for uh, like, I don't know how long, probably 10, 15 seconds, just I don't understand <laughs> what, what, what's happening. Can you ask them if maybe he got on a different bus or maybe he went home with one of the other kids somehow to pick up from school. And at that point they just said, yeah, you know, we're pretty sure he didn't get on any bus. I was sitting at my desk and my boss was standing next to me and my cell phone rang. As I picked up the phone, the school secretary, as if she was reading a script, ran down the spiel of, I'm here with law enforcement. They've asked me to notify you that he's missing. And I said, what? What do you mean he's missing? He can't be missing. I made a call to Desiree to let her know. That was one of the first calls that I made. I was in hysterics at that point. You know, pretty much your worst fear coming true just trying to explain to her, you know, we're not exactly sure what's happening right now, but apparently he wasn't at school. We don't know where he is. We're trying to figure that out. And basically like, you need to get up here. Desiree and her husband, Tony, Kyron's stepdad, made the frantic four hour drive north to Portland. It was dead silent the whole way until just past Eugene. And then we got a phone call and it was Terry. I thought, oh, this is it. We found him. We got him. He was hiding, and it was Terry explaining that Kyron's backpack and coat were still in the school. Have we found him? 